Hey, what is going on ladies and the gentlemen? My name is Corbett, and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 47 of our World Conquest slash Golden Century run as Spain. Last episode, we reconquest a good portion of Ming's cores here, and we have yet more to come, but that's good for now. We also went ahead and full annexed the rest of Bahmanis here, and we might look to do the same with Vijayanagar when that truce comes up. But for now, the subcontinent of India is not very happy with what I've been doing. Um, on top of that, we also went over to Mexico and did a little bit of stuff here, which I plan to continue. And, um, well, let's, let's get started. We have nothing to wait for, so... I could slap down a bit of Diplo rep, but, uh, well, yeah, actually, that would be useful, wouldn't it? I can annex Madurai a little bit faster, and I think I'd like that. So, Madurai... Using seven a month, and it'll take us... Well, that's a pretty long time, actually. Uh, looks to be... Mm, 18 years, perhaps. Uh, unless I'm doing my math wrong, that would be the case, yeah. That's a pretty long time, but I can improve that, taking a Diplo Rep guy. And if I get a Diplo Rep guy over here, then that would be great as well. Um, currently, I'm running a level four... Half-cost spy network, dude, but if I could grab someone else, then that would be equally cool. Let's not worry about that right now. Uh, this guy finished cleaning up those rebels, so he's going to move over to here. I remember I declared this war because I do need to finish up this mission right there. And these cores, at least one of them, should be done on time. Uh, we're just also going to have to keep a pretty close eye on this stuff over here. If we manage to get our overextension down far enough, then it'll just take care of itself, no problem. But, um... Till that day, we're gonna have to take a take a look at it every now and then. I'll build a couple of manufactories so that we can still do this, and I'll wait until these are done, I think. Which will take uh, about a year, maybe, at most. And we have three years to wait until the next tech round anyway, so we can wait, well, until that round. We can wait those three years, no problem. Um, should I get rid of Andra? They are allied with Vijayanagar, which would let me take the rest. The only problem I see is my overextension capping. Because this might be enough overextension to send me over 100. Uh, actually, never mind. No, it wouldn't. Not in the slightest. That was literally just a lie. It, it's not going to do that. Maybe in combination with this stuff, yeah, I'd believe it, but... Um, that alone wouldn't. So maybe I will do it. Maybe I'll just take that. Like, who's stopping me, to be honest? Like, no one. Unless Vijayanagar has cores on this stuff. Which they wouldn't, because they wouldn't have owned it in the last, like, 50 years. And it's not their primary culture, so. Oh, did I really just... Oh, I didn't even click on the right province here. I was right next to it. Okay. And they just conjure up a level 3 general out of nowhere. Okay, that's cool. Uh, and Madra, I expect you'll be fine over there. I can just do this as well. No problem. And this uh, whole thing with Shun isn't going to go away, unfortunately. However nice that would have been. Anything else I can steal from you, maps in particular, unless I can... Uh, no separatists that are worth it, so it's going to be maps for today. I could go with Mongolia or Tibet. I think my better bet would be Mongolia because of the number of provinces. Um, let me just take a look at that map mode again, if you don't mind. Mongolia. I would need a troop in northern China, which is easy enough to do. I just need to send someone over to here. So once he's done, we're there, then we can do that. So you can stand right there. You guys are working on this stuff just fine. And we should declare another war over here, I think. Uh, we have to wait a month. Too many wars, Corbett. We have to wait a month for this one. Alright, let's go with you. Now, someone in the comments mentioned that I actually could just assign the provinces individually instead of waiting a day for them to auto-assign. And that's really smart. That's actually a good idea. And I think I'll take that into account. So, when we take all the provinces ourselves, then we can just 
hand them off to the correct, uh, the correct dude instead of having them auto-assigned to Portuguese Mexico. So I think I'll do that. Um, I'm still gonna have Portuguese Mexico take, like, this stuff over here. New Spain can have, like, this and this and this, right? But, like, this is gonna go to Portuguese Mexico. This is, you know, all these things. That we have two decently sized subjects, um, but not so that, you know, one's too large that they create revolutionary issues down the line. That's one of the good things about having multiple subjects in one area is that, um, well, you're not going to get as many revolutionary issues because they're all smaller. They're all smaller than usual. And that's great. So, uh, Andra, that's going to be fine. We just wait on that. You guys are taking your sweet, sweet time. But I do have a navy which can be effective in aiding you. So let's send you over to here. And I should also be building a bunch of ships. Because everyone's had ships over here. And I've been caught in the, in the dust just waiting. Having to find opportunities for ships. Well, we're not going to wait any longer. We're going to brute force our way through with our own ships now. Waiting is for chumps. We're going to get 30 heavies on this side of things. And hopefully that's enough. Who has more heavies than 30? We're going to find out. Heavies, heavies, heavies. Well, obviously the Netherlands do. It's mainly Malacca and Brunei, which together have a disgusting number of ships. Like, Malacca has 93 and Brunei has 81. So if I want to get anything done in Brunei, I'm going to have to slap them. Because these guys are always allied to each other. The only way I can peel them off is if I invade Sulu and then Brunei, break this alliance, and then attack Malacca. Which, to be honest, I probably will do. That's just the easier route to do things. Alright, how's this war going? Pretty decent. Kano's been taken. Let's go for Yao. I don't want to annex them, I just need them out. Okay, no, I probably will annex, because this is disgusting border gore, and I kind of don't want it. How are these cores doing? Uh, I have to scroll through everything just to get there. Maybe I should really turn off some of these things. Okay, siege over here, I assume? Yes, sir. Let's stand on that, then. Naples, uh, doing something a little weird. Okay, that's fascinating. How about these cores over here? I think they're done, and I think this area is mostly Catholic, which is exactly what I want. So you can be added. You can be added. And you can be added. Which should maybe, in theory, give me enough for a merchant, maybe? Um, apparently this is not enough. Which I find kind of weird. Are you sure about that? We're looking for the still in East China. It apparently doesn't have enough. We have 50.5, I see. Okay, you just want to make me suffer a little bit. I see, I see. Well, that is indeed painful. Let's have you guys split into a couple of places. Still large enough to uh, intimidate any stacks from attacking. Oh, you poor soul. That's just, that's just so unfortunate, honestly. Hey, Dutch Brazil exists. That's cool, that means I can steal that from the Dutch and not care. Which, again, as I mentioned, I should probably do relatively soon. Because, yeah, I've been doing nothing for a little while here. Nothing in Europe, that is. Been doing a lot outside of Europe. Okay, there we go. When's that truce done? When's this truce done? When's that? We don't have a truce here. You just have Japan, which is annoying. Here, let's, um, be friends with Japan. Maybe they'll, you know, be convinced not to join or something. That would be great. Also, you, covert actions, steal maps of Mongolia, please. I thank you very much. And I'm going to be stealing maps of this area from Multan at some point, so I don't need that. Um, I still need Ming to like me. They currently... Have a, eh, they have an okay opinion of me. It'll be better later on. And uh, oh, that development's going to be a lot larger. That's going to be important later on when I grab uh, Liberty 
Liberty desire from, you know, size decrease. That's going to be important. Also, more rebels. Can't imagine where. No, seriously, I can't imagine where. I just don't even know. Okay, Yao might leave soon. In fact, if I just stand on them, they probably will leave. In 15 days. Heck, Chikal. Right, there would be separatism over here, wouldn't there? Hmm. Yeah, that would do it. That would definitely do it, because we just gave them, like, I don't know, 90% overextension, so that's expected. In fact, I don't even know if they have the admin to core all this. Which is another benefit of having two. So that he can core more while this guy's coring. Yeah, that's great. That works. Alright, these guys are all done with that separatism issue. So we should move him. Well, to be honest, we should be moving him into Europe. Along with this guy. They both need to go to Europe. So, Gen A, if I could full annex you, that would really make my day. Uh, Yao can leave. I don't really care about Yao's opinion on anything. Give me war apps, give me money, and, uh... I don't know. Stop being a pain in my butt or something. Here, you can leave. There we go. So that I can annex these guys, and that it won't be an issue. Jane is going to have to have a bit, of, a bit of work done, but uh, it's not too bad. San Diego, which is over here, has a couple of issues, but that's not a problem. Yeah, lots of separatism to take care of here, but we have the dudes on the case. They're going to go and help out. Um, did we take everything from these guys? I think we did. What are my cores like? Halfway done. What's my overextension? 62%? Oh, this is getting really close. This is really bad. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Right, 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 right. Let's not forget about this. Uh, discontent should end in like a month, right? Isn't that what we checked? Discontent. Discontent is ending in June. May, June, July. Okay. So we have two months to wait. It would start in September. We're cutting this really, really close. So long as they don't so discontent in the same month, which I wouldn't put it past them, to be honest, then we should be able to hold out. So I'm not going to annex anything yet. Not yet. We have a couple of things to do first. I'm just going to ask my subject if you could simply, uh... Grab these, please. Thank you very much. Um, get a bit of Liberty Desire, New Granada. Do you guys care? New Granada. No, they don't. Okay, we'll take care of those guys as well. So we only have to wait like three months. And we should be fine. Um, these guys can be directly moved over. But I think I'm going to wait first so we can take care of that. Actually, let me just do all the fighting real quick. Latruces are done. We should get the two reductions soon. I'm really banking on that. 23rd of June. 23rd of June. That really does matter. That's like the most important thing we have right now. Is waiting on the 23rd of June. Okay. Discontent should be... Gone. Yeah, this next month it should calculate. It should reduce us to below one. Oh, sigh of relief. Oh, okay. There we go. I had faith that it would work out, but it's entirely possible for them to, you know, to pull it on me again and just, you know, whip out a second discontent in the same month. So that could have been really bad. Uh, but we're, we're, we're doing fine so far. We're okay. Um, let's declare on that, because Japan won't help. And I need a couple of uh, diplomats, I think. This is one of those, like, weird times where I kind of need a diplomat. So I can actually piece people out. Because <laughs> I don't actually have one. Um, 
Here. Oh, a stab for sure. Thank you so much. I really could use that right now. This is a weird situation to be in. Where you have no diplomats, but you need to piece, like, th five nations out. So, you, I would like to full annex, because screw you. These guys will be done in... Mm -hmm. Hold on. I want to full annex someone, but I don't want to go over 100. Uh, which means I'd have to wait for the cores, but I don't want to wait for the cores. Well, I'm going to be over 100 anyway. Why don't they just take it? Because I'm going to be taking Vigianagar land too, so like, why do I care? I don't. To be realistic. So, Madurai can grab that. And you can grab this, and hopefully you finish coring before I annex you. So, Vigianagar... Oh, there won't be full annex? Really? That's pain. Here, let's do this then. Hmm. I want them to move first. It's definitely in my best interest for them to move. Okay, and then we'll uh, we'll just grab some annexation over here. I actually will go over 100 because no one's really going to stop me, so. Uh, how much of a problem is this? Oh, Mamlox was already going to join. Air was already going to join. Kano was... Uh, we're, we're, we're killing Kano, so it doesn't matter. Gujarat already there. Delhi already there. Everyone here is already there. Yeah, there's no difference. There's no real difference, except for Air, maybe. Maybe. So I'll take that. My name is looking thick, and I like it. So we'll core that. Um, and then... Kano himself will take as well. And what does this do? Um, Yao joins. Other than that, Brunei maybe. So we'll take that. Um, thank you very much. We should also complete our mission. There we go. Minus five years of separatism in a single province. Hey, that was worth it, right, boys? <laughs> well, that's so stupid. Anyway. Um... Absolutism's looking okay. Next we have Vijayanagar, which we're gonna have to land on for whatever stupid reason. Unless I can just do this. I mean, hey, if this works, then it works, right? If I can just, like, sit here. Nope. Okay. Didn't think so. Sending them back. We won Jian. There we go. Send you up there. Piece from Can Patch, right? I actually do have someone to take care of over here. I could just take this. Uh, I could just hand it off to subjects, though, right? Well, if I do this, hold on. If I hand it off to a subject, um, I'm just going to check. When I do this, okay, it doesn't cost me any, um, it doesn't cost me, like, anything, actually. Like, there's no difference. So these can all go to New Spain, because I think New Spain has enough to, to like, actually take these. 108. Actually, the, uh, the aggressive expansion might be different. Hold on. No, it's the same. Okay, yeah, it's the same. So I'll take this, and I will directly assign the... Oh, wait, I'm at war. Damn it. Ah, I forgot I can't assign provinces. Because I'm at war. Ah, yikes. That's going to go to Portuguese Mexico. <laughs> Ah, oh, I didn't want that. I didn't want that at all. Okay, you know what? That's not a big problem. Well, it is because there's a lot of overextension that he has to deal with now. So it is it is a problem, right? But, uh... We have the means to deal with it, so... It's okay. Basically, what I'm saying is it's alright. It kind of sucks, but it's alright. Here, let me... Decrease that. Kind of sucks, but it will. Alright, a bit of conversion done. I'm not making... Yeah, I was about to say, I'm not making that much money. No way. I lost a military leader. Would that be this guy over here? Nope, it's not. Don't know who that is then. Maybe this guy. That could be that guy. Alright, onwards in Shun. We have trade protection against Malacca. I also want to destroy them, so... It's in my best interest to attack Sulu once those heavies are done, which will be in... 
Well, I can't even check because of how m much stuff is on the side here. But eventually. It'll be done eventually. Okay, I might embrace now. What is this? What does embracing actually give me? Uh, goods produced modifier. You know what? I'll take it. That's a good chunk of money there. Goods produced modifier can be ridiculously good. So I'll definitely take that. I will also... Maybe reduce my inflation? What's it looking like? Oh, it's nothing. We're fine. Uh, just bump up mercantilism then. That's cool. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, oh, I see you guys are glitching. Yeah, let's not do that. Sort out themselves. New Spain or Portuguese... Oh, what the hell? These are completely different guys. New Spain, Portuguese Colombia, Portuguese Mexico, New Granada. These are completely different dudes. <laughs> what? Oh, it's because they're because they um they read the colonial regions, not the nations themselves. Yeah, so it's actually between Portuguese Colombia and New Granada, but like they messed up one of the things. Okay. Well, that gives us different options. Um, Colombia is at uh, plus ten. Let's see, they're at thirteen right now, so I don't care. And New Spain is at. Nine. It doesn't make a difference between those guys, so they can just do that real quick. Hey, we have another colonial... What? What? That's weird. Um, another one. Portuguese Mexico could lose some liberty desire. How about New Granada, though? Yeah, that's fine. Let's hope they don't have another, uh, another issue, though. That was kind of weird. Something like that. So these guys can drop off. What's the reconquest core here? Luo Yang. This guy right there. We're fighting a couple of guys. Korea's over there. I'm not going to have to go and get rid of that, actually. I can just head over to Pyongyang. Uh, cursed capital, by the way. Cool. Suspicious. Ah, okay. My colonies are getting a little upset because I may or may not be over 100% overextension. But that'll be dealt with in half a year. So that's not so bad. Okay, I, I imagine I just have to, like, step on this, and that's going to solve the entire issue. Um, so these guys are done. We're just going to deal with the separatism around these parts. And so, yeah, Cursed Mexico. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Very Cursed Mexico. Um, you can probably deal with that. I believe in you. I should also really have you attack this guy. Um... The ships are going to take a long time, so let's not worry about those right now. Malacan Separatists. Ooh, that's a little weird. I haven't seen that in a long time. Okay, well that's not a problem. Because... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, we're not going to deal with this. We're not going to do it that way. I'm not going to fight those ships. Thank you very much. These guys are going to be sent over to here. I'm going to core these. And Andra, as well, is going to get cored up in just a second. I kind of want to be at peace again so I can do some things. Because I have a lot of money and I kind of want to spend that, so... Yeah, that's a lot of money I want to spend. On, you know, colonial things, trade companies especially. Those are going to be super useful. So let's check his overextension. It's pretty easy to, to tell what it's going to be looking like. Um... Seeves unrest, separatism, overextensions at ten point. Yeah, that's definitely that's definitely over over a hundred percent. Let's see here. Uh, my national unrest. <laughs> okay, so we our subject might be at two hundred percent overextension, but that's okay. I'm sure he'll deal with it. We can deal with it for him. That's the best part. He doesn't even have to worry because I take good care of my subjects, and then I annex them. But until then, I take good care. Not that button, sorry. Uh, where's my core button? Oh, I don't have the admin, do I? I just clicked the first button I saw. My little monkey brain, holy. Uh, okay, let's grab maybe another general, because I only have five out of the many. I oh, he's so bad. What? Hold on a second. I can't really afford to replace him, though. I kind of need my points now, because I'm starting to get towards that next tech. Let's core you. 
And the overextension... Oh, there's a timer. Should solve itself in about a month. Month or... A month and a bit, maybe. Let's go down here and deal with that. Huh. Surprisingly, not, not that many uprisings. Pretty good stuff. That's expensive, but it is three innovativeness. And that is some good innovativeness. So I'll take that. Um, let's see here. That can be dealt with. And we should just have to wait like a month or two. Nothing too bad. Let's get rid of this guy. When did we get there? On the 8th? Tax New Spain? Sure. We lost a military leader. That sucks. Who was that? It wasn't you. You already didn't have one, so it would be you. Nope, you have one. This guy. Right as he's about to attack someone. Who did I get rid of? Who was that? This guy. Okay, I need to replace him. 453. 452. Hold on. 543. That's the one. There we go. And everything should be fine now. Yeah, everything should be okay. Alright, solid conquests today so far. I'm just going to be returning all of these cores to Ming. Oh, speaking of cores, there we go. Lots of stuff to core up. Looking pretty good. I just need to finish this war. Ah, oh, there goes an advisor. And he was my half cost, too. Uh, let's go with improved relations. Well, not that that's going to be super useful anymore, but... Um, let's keep it anyway. Might as well. More uprisings. Not where I expected, though. China? No, not really. Here? Also, not really. Where am I missing uprisings? Oh, over here. Of course there would be. Because we just click conquered a bunch of land. Big brain moment. But just in case they move, we'll do that. And we'll take one of our last ones. None of these are super useful anymore. Let's go with... Um, this one. Although useless, it's the least useless that we could take right now. So let's give you a general. Let's give you someone who's not in use, like this guy, the 331. 3315. And this guy is just going to take attrition, but that's fine, because I'm likely going to just get rid of that Merc stack at some point. Oh! Never mind, we'll keep him around. He's doing good work. Uh, he should immediately fix that. Probably. Are all the ships done? Uh, no, we're still missing like, you know, half a month. That's fine. And they should be now. Okay, let's group up all the ships then. We just made a whole bunch, which would be over here. Group up. Sorry, wrong button. There we go. Group up there. These guys can group up there as well. I think that's everyone moving. Let's just scroll up and check. Yep, that's all of them. Great. More revolts. No, please. Stop revolting. I need to deal with these issues first. I also need to ask you for mill access. So we'll go into here and then we'll move into there much faster. There we go. Also, did the timer go? I feel like it kind of did. Uh, yes, it did. So we're probably going to end off the episode... Well, soon. I don't know about right now. Let's see. You're on your way to fixing things. You're on your way to fixing things. Um, then what would it be? The Aztecs? Chichimeca should be next, actually, and then just give a good portion of that to New Spain and a bit of it, maybe a bit of the coast here to Portuguese Mexico. Um, hmm. Florida's doing okay. They really could be attacking Creek right now. Or Cree. Yeah, no, Creek. We do have a spy network somewhere. Yeah, Multan, I built one. Can I ask for some maps? Of anything. Arabia? I was looking for Khorasan, actually, but you wouldn't give me that. Hmm. Central Asia? No. East side? No, Tibet's probably, like, the only thing we can take out of them. Or, actually, nothing. Sahel? No. Malaya? No. A lot of these things aren't worth much. Arabia? We could. We could do Arabia. Hmm... I'd rather just move the ships. 
to be honest. Like, I, I think I'd rather just, like, send some guys up into here. Oh, but that wouldn't work, would it? No, no, it wouldn't. Hmm. Well, that's kind of painful. No, no, Corsan is there, so I can do that. Hold on. Do that. It'll work. We also need to take care of these guys in our land. Uh, which we'll deal with after this. I don't know if we'll have the mill access for that, but we'll give it a shot. And where are my transports? Over here? Well, can you move this guy into here, maybe? That would be cool. This guy's just going to sit here, because I'm going to have to invade Brunei as well. Ah, <sighs> Okay, lots of management. Okay, we're, we're definitely out of time for today, though, so... I think I'm just going to slap down this uh, one merchant, like, uh, oh, I don't know, here. And we're going to sign off for today. So hopefully you did enjoy this episode. This is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to take the time to thank all the patrons you see on screen here for the month of November. Starting with those in the general tier, we have Quiet Guy, Brennan Arsenault, Ben Greenhagen, Torvald, Farron, and Brument. In the Prince tier, we have Natsuki, Rockbox2020, and TFLJ Martis. In the King tier, we have Chewy Shoot and Corbite. And in the Conqueror of Worlds tier, we have The Watcher. Truly, you guys mean a lot to me, and I don't think I could possibly ever thank you enough.